Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. I'm Catherine. Today I am going to show you how to make corned beef brisket like you've never had before. It is going to be simmering low and slow in my Dutch oven right here on my stovetop in a very delicious and beefy broth and also some amazing and yummy seasonings. Okay, if you are ready for this one, let's go. Okay, so I am using this flat cut corned beef brisket. Now I picked this up at Walmart. It is three pounds and it was like $4.24 a pound. Now if we look on the back side, here's what the brisket looks like, nice and marbled. And there's also this seasoning packet that it should come with. And we will definitely be using that. And then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take the meat out of the package and place it into my Dutch oven here. Okay, we're going to go ahead now and make our broth. Now, I am using this Better Than Bouillon. It's a roasted beef flavor. Now, you can use regular beef bouillon if you would like also. Now, I'm going to be using three teaspoons of this. And then what I want to do is combine this with three cups of very hot water. And we are going to stir that all together. Now my intent is just to use two cups of this to pour over my corned beef brisket. The other cup we're going to use towards the end when we put our vegetables in. All right, I've got some beer coming into it. Here we go, pale ale. This is my husband's favorite beer, so I'm gonna put about one cup into it. Another layer of delicious flavor. All right, I've got my seasoning packet. This is what came with the corned beef brisket. I'm going to list over here on the side all of the seasonings that are in this little packet here. And boy, does it pack a punch, y'all. It is gonna flavor it so delicious, like. Okay, what we're looking to do now is bring this to a boil. So we're gonna up the temperature. Now that it's at a boil, what we're gonna do is place our lid on our Dutch oven here. And then we're gonna turn our heat down to a low and let this simmer for two hours. Sometime during the two hours, I'm gonna go ahead and start chopping up my vegetables. Now I have a large onion here, or you can even use two small onions. And what I'm gonna do is just cut it in half and then just make large slices and then cut those into thirds. We want big pieces here. They're gonna cook for quite a while. We don't wanna lose them in the, the brisket there. All right, we're gonna use about four to six carrots, and all I'm doing right now is going to peel these. Now I'm gonna bring over my celery stalks. I've got three of them and I've cleaned these really well and then I just cut off the end there. So what I'm gonna do is just cut these into big chunks all the way down to the curly leaves. And then I'm just gonna cut my carrots into about the same size. We want some texture to these vegetables once they are cooked. Now I've got some baby red potatoes that I've washed off too. Now they're pretty good size, so what I'm gonna do is just cut those in half. About one pound, you're gonna need about one pound of the baby red potatoes. Or you can use any potatoes that you want, whatever you feel like you wanna use in your corned beef brisket. Okay, on to the cabbage. Okay, I've kind of washed this off just a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is, if you can see here, is just cut these into large wedges. Because we're gonna use that to kind of stick around the pot. 
All right, and all my vegetables are now ready to go as soon as my brisket bell goes off. Okay, two hours is up. I'm gonna go ahead now and release the lid from the pot here. Oh my gosh, can y'all smell that? Doesn't it smell amazing? My house does. Okay, what we're gonna do now is place our potatoes, carrots, celery, and onions that we had prepped earlier into that delicious broth. I'm just gonna push it down into the broth there and get ready to add my cabbage that we had cut into wedges. I'm just gonna place those along the edges of our pot here. All right, I'm gonna take my one cup of broth and pour it all over my cabbage and my celery, carrots, onions, and that. And just pour a little bit over the meat here. Give it some more liquid to, find, to do the final cook on here. Let's go ahead and push all of our vegetables and everything into the broth there. Now we're going to place a lid on it and finish cooking this for about 45 minutes to an hour and a half. What we're looking for is tender veggies and we want that meat to be cooked to 145 degrees or more for tenderness and complete cook. There we are. Look at that. Oh my gosh. I am so glad this is done because I am so ready to dig in. So there's a lot of people here. I'm gonna go ahead and take my brisket out of the Dutch oven here and lay it on a cutting board for about five minutes and that will help distribute the juices and everything. Look at all those vegetables in there. Oh my gosh, that's just like a soup right there. <laughs> mm. And that is what exactly what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my platter and I am going to load it up with my cabbage, carrots, potatoes, celery, and onions. This will make it really easy for people to plate up. Okay, my brisket has sat for about five minutes. I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna be cutting against the grain, nice thick pieces. Look at how perfectly that is cooked. And I can tell you, it is very tender also. Okay, I'm going in for that brisket first. Now, you know, don't forget about the color of it, okay? Use your thermometer and give it a check. I believe it is 145 degrees for an internal check. So if you have that or more, then you're good to go. Mm. It is so tender. Those seasonings that went onto this with that beef broth, mm, it's so delicious. Okay, the carrots are nice and tender. My fork goes all the way through them with no problem. The potatoes, that cabbage, look at all that cabbage in there. The celery and the onions all went in there. Okay, go get your brisket. You saw where I got mine from, Walmart, and I showed you the brand. So I have other ideas for this that I'm gonna be doing in the next couple of weeks, some videos to show you how you can use corned beef brisket in other dishes. Okay guys, I got some other videos over here for you guys. I'll meet you over there. If you're new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Okay guys, I'll see you on the next episode.